Hi everyone, I just wanted to do a, a video today because I just actually in the last sort of couple of weeks got my new amazing new blender. It's an Optimum G 2.1 um, and I was going to give it a spin today and show you what it can do. Um, by the way, I'm Anthea Francis from realrawnutrition.com and um, I help people um, recover from all sorts of chronic health illnesses and help them lose weight and get fit and all that sort of crazy stuff. Um, personally, I have recovered from all sorts of um, horrible things like candida, um, asthma, acne, all sorts of things. And um, that's, so that's what I do. I help people. You can go check out my story at realrawnutrition.com. I'll put the link below. Um, anyway, so the Optimum G2.1 blender. So I did, I had uh, another Optimum blender before this one. It was an Optimum 9400. Um, and it was really great. I really liked it. I liked um, it had the same size jug. So it had a two liter jug which makes doing really large smoothies really easy. Um, and it also had a really powerful motor, though this one has an even more powerful motor. So it's a uh, three point, let's have a look, 3.8 um, uh, horsepower motor, which is pretty amazing. And I'll show you the, you know, the difference that that makes a little bit when I, um, when I make what we're gonna have today. So I'm gonna make raw vegan butter chicken I'm going to make strawberry nice cream, so good. And I'm also going to just grind up some flax seeds. So you can see it also does dry grinding as well as wet um, pulverizing as well. So let's get going with the raw vegan butter chicken first. So over here, you can see I've got a few things on the table here. Um, last night, I made this amazing cauliflower rice recipe, uh, which is just basically um, in a food processor, I mixed up half a head of cauliflower, some dates, uh, some cumin powder, and some shallots as well. And that is so sweet and lovely and delicious and really reminds me of the yummy spiced rice recipes that um, Indian, Indian people make. Delicious. And also I marinated these coconut strips. So this is a young coconut that I opened up last night and I marinated it in ginger, um, ginger, garlic, some a little bit of coconut aminos, some apple cider vinegar, some smoked paprika, some uh, curry powder, and I think that was about all. So that's been stewing there overnight. Now what you can do, because this is a nice spicy hot recipe, you can warm these up in the dehydrator just for a short amount of time. You don't want to make it dry. But um, just warming it up slightly will give it that yummy Indian warmth that um, you're looking for. So over here, to actually make the sauce for the butter chicken, I've got some uh, soaked cashews and um, Brazil nuts, just a couple of Brazil nuts there for selenium. It's good to get, you know, just um, a little bit of um, Brazil nuts in once a week, maybe one or two just to get your selenium levels up. And I've soaked those, which is really important for digestion. You don't want to, um, uh, unsoaked nuts have lots of phytates in them. So they don't, um, they're not, not so great. A couple of tomatoes chopped up there. I've also got some sun-dried tomatoes, some ginger, some garlic, just a little bit of garlic and some chopped, just one chopped shallot, actually not a lot. Here I've got, you can probably hear my dog in the, back, the background trying to get in the house. This is some dates, some medjool dates, pitted. And I've also got some spices. So here I've got some garam masala and cumin. Actually, that's cinnamon, some smoked paprika and some curry powder as well. 
So I'm going to put those, and I've also got a little bit of Himalayan sea salt and some coconut water from the coconut. Um, in here, I've got some chopped kale that I've uh, just put a little bit of lemon juice over and some Himalayan sea salt just to soften that. And that's going to be our bed for the um, raw vegan butter chicken recipe. I'm so excited. So what we'll do, first of all, is we will put in, first of all, lot, it's a good idea to put wet ingredients in first. So I'm going to put the, uh, the tomatoes in. And then I'm going to put the cashews and nuts. Um, I'll put the sun-dried tomato, the ginger, those things. And the dates. And I'll also put the spices. Beautiful. A little bit of Himalayan sea salt and uh, the coconut water. So you can put all those ingredients in together. Then I'm going to get my the lid and the tamper. This is quite good to use. I probably wouldn't need the tamper for this recipe, but I'm going to show you how to use it anyway. Now, what I really love about this blender is that it has um, this LED display. So I'll turn it on here. And um, it's, it's got some preset settings. So it's got um, fruit smoothies, sorbet, grinding, nuts and seeds. And also um, if you're doing nut milks, soups and sauces. Um, just be warned that if you're making soups in this blender, it does get very hot. You can actually make hot soups. Um, in, and it will cook your food. So you, you need to just make sure that you're not, not leaving it on too long. You just want it to be really nice and um, maybe a little bit of steam, but not too much. So what I'm going to do is I will set this on. Um, oh, you can also do manual settings with this as well. So if you set the speed and the timer, you can um, get a bit you know, a bit more precise with what you're doing. So I'm going to turn the blender on. I will set it on, I think I'll set it on sauces. Okay, so I'll just show you what the preset setting is like. So it goes up and down in speed. What I really like about this blender is it's not very loud. <laughs> Stop it there. I think what I might also do is actually set it on the soup setting so you can actually see just how hot this um, gets. Uh, I'm not, I don't want to cook it, but I want to show you the so where is it? Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm just going to stop it now. It's actually before the setting um, has finished, but I'm just going to open it and I'll show you just how warm this has gotten. So you can probably see steam actually coming up from the top and I'm getting this amazing aroma of these beautiful spices and yummy deliciousness in there. So um, that is going to make for an amazing raw vegan curry. So... I've uh, just got my spatula, 
So let's um, get going and actually create some raw vegan butter chicken. Yum! My um, husband, when this, um, when I got this home, said that this was like the Subaru to Audi upgrade, which I thought was pretty funny because he's such a car nerd. Um, and actually, I have to say, I do love my Subi, and I'm not ready to upgrade to any fancier car than that. But um, I tell you what, I'm totally loving this blender. So let's get some. So what I've done is I've got a bed of greens with some of the yumminess butter chicken on top. Oh, I forgot to put on some coconut rice. So I'll put some coconut rice on too. And a little bit of the butter chicken on top there. So you can either, I mean, I sometimes actually mix this in so it looks a little bit more authentic. Um, but there you go. You can see this absolutely delicious recipe. The spices in, he, the, in here are amazing. I'm just going to taste test. Lisa Ramondi, you are a genius. I don't know what you've done. The thing I really love about this recipe is it's not heavy like most raw vegan recipes. So um, it's just got enough um, nuts to give it a little bit of creaminess, but it's not heavy. So you can eat this and feel really light afterwards. Um, a lot of raw vegan recipes are very, very heavy nut based um, and they're really delicious, but they leave you feeling very... Um, just like you've got a brick in your stomach afterwards. So uh, let's get on to the next recipe. So I'm going to make strawberry and ice cream for you now. So I'm back to just demonstrate to you how I make uh, raw vegan and ice cream. We're going to make strawberry and ice cream today. This won't take very long and I'm just demonstrating it in my new lovely blender, which is a G2 um, Optimum G2 from Fruity. Um, I really love this blender. It's, um, I think, just as good as the other leading brand, but not nearly as expensive. So if you want a great blender for like around half the price, then this is a really great option. So I've just put um, just an unfrozen banana in there first. I find that that just helps things get moving a little bit more. You don't really need to do that, but you know, it makes a great ice cream anyway. So I'm gonna put maybe about three bananas, three to four bananas all together in here. Um, these I've frozen in little individual bits on a tray in the freezer. And I'm also gonna put some strawberries in too. And Fix the top. The thing I really like about this blender, as opposed to my last one, which was also an op uh, which was also an optimum, but it was a 9400, was that I had to stop it a number of times to actually scrape things down the side and get it moving. With this one, I don't have to do that at all. So let's see. So it actually does have a pre-setting for sorbet. So I'm going to use that setting. Okay. So beautiful. So you can see it's made a lovely texture. Raw vegan ice cream. I'm just going to get a spoon to spoon some into a bowl. Really, really delicious. Hey, Felix, where's my taste tester? My son's in the other room. He's not well today. Actually, he's got a sore throat, so this will be perfect for him. But I tell you what, I'm going to taste it first. 
Mm, so pretty, so delicious. So yeah, I am um, an affiliate for Fruity, but I don't ever recommend any products which I don't absolutely love. And this one, I have to say, is um, definitely the best blend I have ever used. Um, so I can wholeheartedly recommend it. And yeah, so I'll see you again. Bye. Thank you.